All right, what's good, YouTube? It's Jay here. So for today's video, we're gonna be seeing if the Sith Empire can actually destroy an Imperial fleet. So we've got one Imperial two class Star Destroyer and three Vindicator cruisers versus one Sith Horror class Star Destroyer against three Leviathan destroyers or Interdictor destroyers or whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna see if the Sith Empire can actually destroy Palpatine's forces, these more advanced starships. All right, so let's go ahead and start the battle. We're gonna be playing as the Sith. Shot should be running out at any moment. There we go. Okay, let's do just a tiny bit of micromanaging here. So I think what I'm going to do is have the bombers go for the shield generators on the Vindicator classes. Now, what I did, too, was assign at least three bomber wings to each side. Now, the proper way to test this would probably be to, like, honestly do the fight myself for both factions. So maybe we'll just do that. But that might take a little while, so we'll have to wait and see. We've got a lot of starfighters on both faction sides. So we're going to go ahead and set these guys up to engage some of these Imperial TIE Fighters. I don't mean to just go right into micromanagement as soon as we start it up, but... Uh, let's see, we'll have this guy go for the hangar bay on this. Okay. And then we're going to do some grouping, make these group three, make these group two. And then we'll have these guys go over here. And I think we should be set. Okay. Let's do full power to primary battery, first and foremost. Let's just see if they can actually pull off, pull it off. I was attempting to do this earlier, but I had some issues with the mod like crashing for some weird reason. So it looks like the, the, the bombers are just going right for the hangar bays on my uh my horror class. Wow, they're going right for the for the jugular. Okay, so we got one Vindicator over here just kind of doing some loop-de-loops. We're going to send this guy over here, and then we're going to send this guy over here. And then we got a lot of bo uh, TIE Bombers just kind of uh, mucking about over here. Our fighters are engaging the Imperial uh, Interceptors, but it doesn't look like it's going too well. We have dropped the shields in this. Let that be known. All right, you circle over here. Shoot the engines out on that. Okay. Fighters or cruisers or whatever. Yeah, let's just keep dealing some damage to this guy. You gotta circle around this way. Our interceptors are holding out for the most part. It looks like all the top bombers have been destroyed successfully. And we can actually send the rest of our bombers after the Star Destroyer. And there we are with the. What is this called? The Sith Bomber Squadron. Okay, simple enough. Okay. So the engines are completely gone on this guy. Let's aim for the shield generators next with these uh, bombers. Our starfighters are all alive. Okay, so the Sith starfighters seem to have outlasted the Imperials, which is good for us. Okay, the ISD is completely like just mucked off that way. So we'll deal with the escorts first and foremost. It's 3000 year old ancient technology and it's still putting up a fight against the empire. Uh, let's chase these guys down. It's time they learned some respect. And then we'll have our interdictor classes, or the Leviathan classes, we like to call it. Focus the fire down on that guy with its near limitless number of weapons. As it just bombards the ever living hell out of that poor Vindicator. The ISD has gone somewhere. I don't know where it went actually. Let's go chase it down, Starfighters. These guys have S4 abilities. Oh, here it is over here. Okay. This one's about to go down any moment. See, yeah, they just all kind of broke off and separated. There we go. Okay. Bombers move in. Fleet move in. All capital ships. Let's deal some damage to this guy. Let's take the hard points here. The uh, hangar bay in particular. But it looks like we're able to deal a little bit more damage. I think the harbor just outright has more guns than the Star Destroyer. Now, I don't know if it's ever been stated if the Star Destroyer was the most advanced, like, destroyer in the world, or in, in, you know, Star Wars history. Or a capital ship or whatever. I don't think it ever has been. It's just powerful for its era, maybe. Star Wars technology doesn't really, what you say, advance. You know what I mean? It just, it stays kind of stagnant, honestly, which is a little weird, but that's just how it kind of goes, you know? Okay, move forward. Move forward. Full power to weapons. There we go as we destroy the fake empire. 
Uh, so far, so good, though. And it doesn't look like this thing's gonna survive. <laughs> it should be going at any moment. I think maybe the next battle we'll do will be ground-related, where we'll do Sith Troopers versus Stormtroopers. Like, just two armies of Sith and Stormtroopers, like, duking it out with each other. I think we got it. Oh, yeah, we're dealing some obnoxious damage to this poor guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that's perfection, actually. There we go. Well, I can't put this in the thumbnail because that might be a spoiler. That's unfortunate. I think that's it, though. Okay, all right, we're going to transition to the ground really quick and see if a Sith Trooper can beat a Stormtrooper. We'll be right back. Okay, so while the troops are deploying, we're over here on the Pressvelt map. Now, you might remember this from Rogue Squadron 2, I believe. I think it's Rogue Squadron 2. You raid this facility and save a couple of different people, including, I think, Tycho Kelku, what I was thinking. I don't remember the Jedi Temple being a part of the lore of Press Belt, but we'll, or Press Belt, or whatever it's power is pronounced. Press Belt. We'll just uh, feel inclined to ignore that. Uh, yeah, so we got the GR-75 that brought, like, the T-47s in, I believe. You know, just some lore-accurate stuff. Also, apparently they have a snow speeder somewhere over here uh, that I'm not fully aware of. And there's something just chilling in the boat. Is that, is that like, a, like a sailboat? What the heck is that? Got some supplies over here just kind of hanging out. Um, a stormtrooper who's just chilling, like a little recon area, I guess. <laughs> I love little uh, fun, silly details like that, man. That's really, really what makes an Empire War map an Empire War map. But okay, so let's see if so we got thirteen squads of Sith troopers. Okay, well we had thirteen individual teams uh, against the same number of stormtroopers and death troopers. We've also got some of our droids and. Or not to so let's see it looks like it's gonna re run relatively smooth let's fast forward really quick get everybody in position now nah, let's get back here let's get back here let's just get back here okay and we're trying to position and it's not gonna work so that's okay we'll just start the battle let's we'll see how well this goes I expect great things out of the Sith Empire okay there we go let them have it gentlemen all right, so we got Sith Troopers versus Stormtroopers and Death Troopers and vice versa. Oh, I can't tell who's winning, honestly. Okay, we're slowly but steadily losing some, some of our troops. Uh, let's get these droids. Uh, let's see. Where are they? There we are. All right, get them to the front. Kill you guys. I think we're actually murdering these guys. Uh, yeah, I, I, oh my god, they're just getting annihilated. Um, that was pretty one sided. Let's try this again, but with the Sith Troopers versus Clone Troopers. I'm gonna feel so sorry slaughtering you guys for some real reason. There's just so many different cool units and colors out there. Like there's green, we got some oranges. I don't, oh, I see the helmetless guy. All right, I think the helmetless trooper is a little funny, but I'm gonna feel kind of bad. So we're over here on the beautiful world of Kashyyyk with our little Venator over there basically to reenact the uh, Battle of Kashyyyk, pretty much. I don't think you can land troops up here. That'd actually be kind of cool if you could. Uh, we can surely try, I guess, right? Nah, we can't do that. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get these forces down here really quick. And we're gonna storm the beaches of Kashyyyk with a healthy Sith Trooper army. I don't know where the transports are. There they go. So the troopers are a little bit more spread out this battle in terms of like the clone army anyway. And the last one, I mean, it was balanced, I would say. But the only difference was, I guess, the troops weren't as spread out, you know? I don't know. I, I think this will play a little bit better. They, they've got some wiggle room. Is that everybody? Is that everybody? We good? Any more transports? Okay, let's get in position. Let's start the battle. Now, I don't expect this to be lopsided. But hopefully it'll at least be a little bit uh more competitive, per se. Okay. Right, let's engage some of these troops. These, the clones also have clone commandos too on their side. The droids might just be a bit too much for our poor commandos to actually handle. Or our clone troopers rather. So every time we use the droids, I try to even it out with like a special forces team or something on the uh, opposite, opposing side. Okay, we've still got at least 37 different squads left 
and two droids that are really, really putting up a fight right now. Oh yeah, those clone troopers are just running at us. Okay, well, hey, they, they gave it their best, right? Oh my god, yo, the Civ Empire might be meta. That's a joke, by the way. There's no such thing as meta, in my opinion, in Empire War. <laughs> okay, well, here come the droids. Oh, dude. The Sith Forces look so nice. Like, so do the clones, too, but the Sith Forces in particular, they look really nice. Okay, well, we lost the last of our droids, at least our, um, our walkers. Okay. Just another commando to slaughter really quick. I don't know how many troops are left. We got another commando right here. And he's going down. I think that was everybody? Let's move forward just to make sure. Oh yeah, there's so many bodies to walk over. I kind of wish bodies stayed persistently on the ground. Let's just, let's just walk over these guys really quick out of uh, disrespect. Well, that was about as one-sided. I really didn't expect it to be like that. I thought the Empire was at least going to put up a fight, and I thought the clone troopers, which are technically the better trooper, I guess, on paper, I, I thought they were going to put up a fight as well. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this fun little video, be sure to leave a like on it, and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel because I upload pretty frequently, and a majority of the people who watch these videos are not subscribed. Again, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. May the force be with you all. Peace.